Game highlights are brought to you by Verizon. The better network. Verizon. Better matters. And yet again, the Tar Heels will see a zone as Pitt comes out in the zone. Look, and how about that? Barry, after not making a field goal on Saturday, drills the long three to start things off here. Heels up three and on the move. Jackson stops top of the key. Right side to Williams. Now right corner, Isaiah Hicks to a cutting Jackson in the paint for the quick finger roll and a two. And that's keeping that ball low. You really got to catch it and be strong with it. Young stripped it away. Heels got to move. Yeah, shot clock down to three. Hicks will pull up and nail the 17-footer from left of the lane. 12-9 the score. Tariel's up by three. Barry slices into the paint, takes a lot of contact, can't finish, but Tony Bradley can. After getting the offensive rebound, he puts it in and draws the foul. Barry, top left, bounces it over to Britt. Hand off on the right baseline to Hicks. Good pass in the paint to Meeks, who finishes over the challenge of Jeter. As you watch him play, he's not afraid to run the court. He does it and seems to have the endurance to do so. Boy, a quick three by Jackson, and he drills it from the top right. Carolina's lead down to one, 25-24. Britt trying to drive in the zone. Great pass to Hicks for the two-handed dunk. Lock down to 5.03 now in the first half. Jackson has it now, trying to look inside the zone. Drops it free throw line to Hicks. Hicks drives right of the lane, lays it up, gets it to drop, and draws the foul. Oh, what a good move. I mean, there was a time when that would have been a charge. Carolina's lead is just one here in the Smith Center against Pitt. Right of the lane, Meeks to Robinson. Tip pass up high to Barry, open three, got it. Boy, that kind of ball movement makes the made three look like a fabulous shot. He'll dribble to the top of the key. Fires it right corner to Artis. Fall away three. No good. Good box out by Meeks. Allows Hicks to slide in there for the rebound. Carolina up five and on the move. Jackson transition three. Count it. And Kevin Stalling takes a BC powder. Timeout. Tar Heels back to back threes. There. Deep on the right. Shot clock's down to three. Bear on the right sideline for a long three. Short rebound right to May, and he puts it up and in. Well, I doubt that was the offensive play that was designed. Assuming this stands, which again, we think it will, Carolina will have scored on seven of its last eight possessions of the first half. And yet, the Heels lead by just six. 42-36, our halftime score here in the Smith Center. And now, here comes this spread out 1-3-1 look from the Panthers. Barry will try a long three and knock it in from deep left wing. Well, Carolina was able to move the ball from side to side. And his career high is 24. That came against Syracuse in the ACC tournament last year. As Barry drives in, finds Hicks for the big dunk on the right baseline. Now to Jones, one-on-one -on -one with Britt. Tries to go back door to Johnson. Meeks rotates over and knocks it away. Hands it off to Britt, Tar Heels on the run. Britt whips it down low to Hicks all alone for the two-handed Thunder. And Meeks was the guy who made all that happen. Shot clock at 15 as Barry has it on the left. Down low it goes to Meeks left block, goes up and under. How did he get that thing in? I don't know. I think he was out of steps on the other side of the basket. They've made some very difficult shots, and you've mentioned that. Luke May in the game for the Heels, hands it off to Britt, right back to May. He's gonna try a three from the right corner and knock it in. The senior Britt tries to get it to Hicks. Pitt knocked it away from behind, but Hicks chases it down right sideline. Goes to the hoop and goes up and under for two in the foul. And Isaiah's fired up, why not? Tar Heels need a field goal. They don't have one in nearly, actually more than six minutes. They're up just one, 71 to 70. Barrett with 15 on the shot clock. Goes down the lane right side, draws contact and finishes. Well, he read the high screen and saw that the defense was hung up ever so slightly. 74-73, 1 12 to go. Jackson has it high left, shot clock is at 19. Jackson drives by, gets to the rim and lays it in on the left. Second one from Hicks. Good. 80 to 78, Carolina will not take a timeout. Inbounds to Artis with four seconds to go. Artis, French front court is running free, no good. And the Tar Heels hang on. 80 to 78 at home against Pitt.